Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we are doing my February favorites. Just a few days late, but better than ever. And I've got them all here to show you in all their glory. Some of them are kind of grubby looking because I do really use these things. I'm trying to tell you the things that I have shown you and it's kind of like feedback. Do they thrill me? You know, when you try 20 lip liners in a month, you realize which one was the best because that's the one you're reaching for. That's the one that, you know, you go for over and over again. So that's what we're gonna do here. Let's start off with a pair of shoes. Okay, you know, these are some of my favorite shoes of all times. They're from Zara. They sell them every year. I think I have three pair. They're everywhere. Every time I go out of town in the summer, I take these, they go with everything. They are just the ultimate pair of shoes. Not only are they just the ultimate nude, when you get them on your feet, you don't notice the shoe. You just, just don't even notice your feet at all. So when I saw these available on the website, I had to try them. They're very similar, but they have this cool like rhinestone toe piece. They are so pretty. They're much dressier looking. See how these have the clear, more of a block heel. So these can go dressy or casual, but these have the heel kind of like the Schutz Ariella. Matter of fact, this shoe is very similar to the Schutz Ariella, which is another one of my all time favorites but with this. Now, if you have a wedding come up or a graduation or anything like that, you can put on the simplest dress, like a slip dress or just a sheath dress or whatever and have this little shoe and it will make a statement. And they seem comfortable and I just think they're so pretty. Okay, and then my hair today is natural. This is my natural frizz in all of its glory. Did not plan on doing this. But I was curious how it was going to look with the darker color and with all of my new, um, what do you call those? Not bleach layers. There's some word for it. I think it's something for bangs. But anyway, all of my layers that I have now from my hair getting broken, actually that kind of lends itself well to this when you let your hair dry natural and you want it to be big and i really wanted to dress up today and go for a good carrie bradshaw look because i love it when you have on a cute little dress and some heels and you're dressed up but you have really casual hair that's my favorite look but it is raining and cooler today so and we have to go out i think we're going to go eat lunch and do some stuff as a family and so that is it. So let's go with some hair stuff because you know that's on my mind lately. This is my favorite hair powder. You can see I have Hit Pan. It's the Wow Hair Powder. And this color is dark blonde. I have had this probably four years or so. I don't use it a lot because I am someone who gets my gray roots covered pretty quickly. And I don't just have like white gray roots. I have pewter gray hair. I don't have the silvery white hair. I have the pewtery kind. I do have some white here. You can see now I need to go get my roots done. So I sometimes use it for that. And then I sometimes use it when I put my hair up and I want my hairline to be filled in a little bit. And it's just come in so handy over the years. So I am a fan of this. But when my friend Corey sent me the platinum I am just blown away. I cannot believe that this hair powder can actually give you like a highlight. And it has really saved me because I know many of you are worried about my like orangey roots right there. I'm gonna tell you, the scare I just had with my hair, I will leave those orange if I have to, to not have any more breakage. I go tomorrow to Morgan and get my roots done. I mean, I don't even know how much I can express to you, how much I'm gonna tell her. I don't care if my hair is black, silver, gray, red, purple. I don't want to damage my hair. So we'll see what she does with it. But what is getting me through, and that's what I always, that's like a life lesson, is when something's out of your control, think about the things that you can control. And what I can control is taking this hair powder 
and brushing over it and making it look better. And that has been such a lifesaver. You guys may not know the difference and there may not be a big difference, but if it makes me feel better and it comforts me and it gets me through this time, it's worth it. I think it's phenomenal. I mean, I feel like you can see it. I think this smaller side, you know, gets a little bit more concentrated. It's hard to do. It works better if you will hold your hair. Let me try to do it in the screen. And I, I can't see well enough to even know if you could tell that. Let me just go right here. See if you can tell a difference. Right there. I mean, it just really makes a difference. If you are trying to go a longer time without doing your roots and you have like dark hair, I've never wanted to use one of those sprays, but this stuff is good. I am a believer for sure. Okay, let's continue along with hair. I forgot to bring it up here and I have mentioned it now a hundred times, but Redken Cleansing Cream, you just have to get it. You have to, even if you don't even use a clarifying shampoo, you have to get it and try it. I am just a fan. If you're not worried about having a buildup of product or too much color on your hair, it's good for minerals in your water. I just think it's a good thing to use. At least, like it says once a month, but I would say, maybe it even says once a week. I think it says once a month, but I would say once every other month. It's not gonna hurt your hair. It doesn't dry it out. It's, it's one of the best things ever. Okay, this, this oil, it says shine spray, but it's basically just an oil. I don't have any product in my hair. I didn't plan on letting it dry natural. I just took it out of the towel and it was already got, getting curly. John was already coming back in our room, getting ready to watch TV, so I decided to go with it. I let it dry as long as I could by itself and then I stood in front of the space heater. <laughs> the ultimate diffuser. I will link my space heater below too because we have three of them. I have one right here that I have on my feet. We have uh, one on each of our counters and I think John might have one in his room and Will. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a shine spray, but it's, it's just a fine oil mist that does give you shine, but you have to be careful. I mean, you could get too oily with it but I feel like it's just good for your hair. It smells amazing. And you know what? So many of you guys said that coconut oil is not good for your hair. I had people from just everywhere telling me coconut oil is not good for your hair. I thought Abby Young knew what she was talking about. The more I read on it, you're right. It says it almost puts a bad coating on your hair so that the good things can't get in there. So I feel bad that I bragged on that coconut oil. I'm just doing the best I can here. I'm gonna just document, but I will say, read about the coconut oil before you do that. Now this is, um, let me read and see what kind of oil this is. It does say that it provides UV protection and anti-frizz. I don't put this in my hair wet a lot because I'm always using the other oils. Oh, and I did order the Orbe Alchemy line. One of you told me to order that, so I did. I ordered just like the little sample kit and we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I have loved this for shine, extra moisture, just, I'm like grasping at straws here, but I am feeling better. Okay, let's go into some bath products. I have bragged on this so many times. This stuff is so good. I do think the L'Occitane or L'Occitane is good too. I really do. The only thing that this has over the L'Occitane oil wash is I do love the pump and I love the scent of this. This isn't quite as heavy as that. And this is what I use with my Billy razor that I love, best razor ever, ever. I use this to shave my legs, bikini line, underarms, every single shower. What does it smell like? It's for some reason to me, it smells beachy. It smells a little copper tony. I don't wonder what that is that makes it smell like that. I love it, it just gave me butterflies. I love this so much. I found out about that when I was watching a Jenna Lyons. She used to be the creative director of J. Crew when I was watching a What's in My Bathroom or something, she was bragging on this and I'm grateful. Another thing, it's oily, no stranger to my channel. This is the Osea oil, the Undaria Algae Body Oil. I don't know how many bottles. I will say if you get one of those bottles that 
when you pump, it just puts out like a little bit like that. Some of them are just like that. So if you get a good pump like this one is, this one is much more of a smooth pump, save it. And that's just a little tip from me because I've gone through so many. What I have started doing is I turn off the shower. I wring out my hair. I put my hair in the hair towel. So I'm not just like dripping wet, but I'm still in the shower. Then I put that Osea oil all over, rub it in, then step out of the shower and dry off. Between the two of those, I don't have to put lotion on. And I don't know, why is that a big thing? But I just like to get out, get dried, put my pajamas on and start doing my face skincare. So I really like it. It's one of the best body oils I have ever used, ever, ever. Okay, let's go on to makeup. This eye palette, the new Kim Kardashian Skin Eye Palette. For the rest of my life, I could use this, the one from M Cosmetics, and the Naked 2 Basics. I love them. I could use this every day. And I know so many people are saying that it's just like the Mario, but I just don't feel that way about his. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's a different formula. I'm sure it is. But you can see, I've put a quite a dent in these. I started off with this shade in the crease. And then my favorite, like warmish color is that one. If I go there, it's too much. It makes me feel like I look dirty. But that one is my favorite warmish color. It kind of reminds me of Urban Decay Naked Palette Buck, one of those colors. It kind of reminds me of that, but I love this palette. I just traveled with it, and if you need a shimmer, you know you're going to need to get a shimmer from another palette, but I love it. Okay, blush. I have been stone cold hooked on this blush. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Climax. I just got it from Nordstrom. Got it on today. It is the most perfect bronzer blush. Like it has this color, which is kind of like, what do they call that? A bronzer? Yeah, a bronzer. So it has that that almost gives you a bronzy look, but then it has that little bit in the middle that gives you just a little pop on your cheeks. It's my favorite one. It would be this one and then Pillow Talk would be my two favorites. And then this bronzer, I can't remember when I bought this. Remember when I did my last closet clean out video, I found a little container of makeup. I had stuffed in there probably when the cleaning girls were coming. And I came across this blush and it's Bobbi Brown Natural. This has been my go-to bronzer for the last couple of weeks and I love it. I feel like it's perfect. I've got it across my forehead which I do really like Tarte Park Avenue Princess like right here across the forehead because I think a little tiny bit of shimmer across your forehead is pretty. But today I didn't because I wanted you to be able to see only this, but I really like it. It's good for the contour up under here. It's good to put in the crease of your eye. It's not too orangey. I feel like it's pretty neutral and I love it. I like it a lot. Okay, this is no stranger to my channel. The Hourglass Ambient. This and Estee Lauder Double Wear. I think I could be fine for the rest of my life with these two foundations. You know, I've tried the Prada. It was okay. I mean, I could probably learn to like it and get my perfect shade. I do love the Valentino, but there's just something about this one and Estee Lauder. And what would make this rank over the Estee Lauder Double Wear is I can use this one color. Whereas with the double wear, like right now where I am in the season and my shade, I have to mix two of the double wear. But this shade eight, it is just, I think I've gone through three or four bottles. And I have a lot of you ask me like on Instagram, which is my favorite foundation. And I don't blame you because I try so many. It's this, it's this one pump per side with those Paw Paw inexpensive sponges from Amazon. I use the one with the wedge on it for my foundation and I use the regular, you know, beauty blender looking one for my concealer, which leads me into, I forgot to bring it up here, the milk powder. I think it's part of their oil control line. I have it on today. I mean, I still like the Guerlain or the Givenchy number two, 
Sometimes I still like the Laura Mercier Translucent. Sometimes I like the Givenchy Number no. 3 Rose, but a good go-to. Oh, and I do like Rodeal Glass. Okay, this month it's been the Milk Loose Powder. I've loved it. Okay, this is something that I had gotten, I think last year, and I forgot about, and I saw it in my makeup closet in here, and I thought, I'm gonna use that. I have been loving this underneath this foundation and double wear because those foundations already really dry down and they have good coverage and they are matte natural matte this is a kind of a serum so it's not like it's a sparkle fest it's not even as glowy or sparkly as charlotte tilbury flawless filter this is more um glow and it feels good, it smells good, and it just creates a wonderful base. But you see how it does? It isn't creating sparkle. And I'll be honest with you, even though it's kind of moisturizing, it still leaves like a tacky finish a little bit and almost a little bit of smoothing, I feel like. So I think it's worth a try. I think I can only find it in one place. I can't remember if it's Nordstrom or Sephora. Okay, brows. Since I have gone through my hair debacle, which I'm very happy with my hair now. I'm very happy with it. This is what I wanted from the beginning. So does that teach you a lesson? The good thing is for you, you're not on YouTube. <laughs> and you don't have to like, you know, see it as much because it's not even just you guys seeing it, but when I edit my videos back and stuff, you know, it's like not healthy to look at yourself this much. It really isn't. Okay, so I have gone to one of my older colors in the Anastasia and it's medium brown. And I like this color, even when I'm light. And I like the one that is like this. It's the one that's called Definer. And it's what I have on today and it's what I've had on in every video you've seen lately. It isn't going to swatch well. It does. It's kind of waxy. Do you guys remember the Smashbox um, brow pencil that I loved so much long ago and they got rid of it? It was kind of waxy like this. And I like it. I can really like extend my eyebrows and lift them. And then it has the brush right on the end that, you know, blurs it. For the color to be medium brown, that is a blonde, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to tell you in case you're looking for a brow pencil, I think that's a really good one. Lip liners, probably my favorite product. Like that is my favorite product. I've gotten so many good ones lately. And you know, if you ask me, well, what about this one? What about this one? I'm, I'm sure they're good too, but this one from Merle Norman in Teddy Bear has been my go-to. Like this is one that I can wear with so many different things. It's very similar to KVD Lolita, which is, they changed the name of that into something weird, Queen of Poisons or something. Um, this one, who can beat the name Teddy Bear? It's not as brown as you would think. It's a pinky brown. I've got it on today. I just took it on vacation with me. I just love it, it lasts. Then the two lipsticks, out of all the ones I've been getting lately, my two favorites are this one, which is the new Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And this one is called Icon Baby. So I, here's the color. I'm going to fill in the bottom lip with Icon Baby. See how pretty that is? Ooh, that's a good lip color. And then I'm really liking this Pat McGrath Skin Sane. I've got this one on today. This one may have a little bit more color. Yes, has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it. So that's Skin Sane. That's Icon Baby. Love them both. Really just, I've been layering it up. Just as the day goes on, I'll just get one and put it on. And then I'm not gonna rest until everyone has the Tarte Shimmer in Pearl. I was going to say, mine's always jacked up because I'm always using it. So I'm going to wipe it off. 
Okay, I'm gonna swatch it and then I'm gonna do, so there's the swatch. And then I'm gonna do half of the lips on both colors with this. So you can see the difference. See how it lightens the lip color? See how it gives it dimension? It gives it moisture. It plumps a little bit. Not a stinging plump, but a pepperminty type plump. It's my new Buxom Celeste. I really think it is. I, we just went away for a week. I didn't even take Buxom Celeste with me. And then I had someone ask me, if you already like Buxom Celeste, do you need this? This one lightens. You know what I mean? So I think this is different. Um, it does everything Buxom Celeste does, but it lightens your color a little bit. It makes darker colors more wearable. There is that. And then I have one more lip product for you. I think one of you guys sent me a DM and suggested that I try this. Right about that time, they got rid of Kylie in my local Ulta. They replaced it with Charlotte Tilbury, but they still have it in my one across town. But then I heard they don't sell these pencils. I don't know if I got it from Nordstrom or Sephora, but I'll put whichever one below. And this one is called Main Character. It's from Kylie. I use it mostly as a lip liner. So let me line over this because this is very, very much something I would do is have this lip and put something over it just like this. Let me do it. This gives you a little bit more of that tawny look. Just a little bit more emphasis, a little bit more 90s, a little bit more Naomi Campbell, you know, that look. But I like it a lot. Uh, I had ordered two, and the other one I didn't care for as much. And then my outfit of the day has a favorite in it. I haven't put on my shoes yet. I think I'm going to wear sneakers today. I'll try to put a picture in here, but let me stand up and show you. In fact, let me go wash this off really quick and I'll come right back. Okay, this is that blazer. I think it's Scoop. I got it from Walmart. It was in my last Walmart haul. I love that it's kind of like a big light blazer. It's kind of like a summer weight. And let's see if it says the brand. No, but it's polyester spandex polyester <laughs> but it's inexpensive so you don't have to worry about it it can be a light blazer that you're not as worried about and then these are my latest and greatest sweatpants they're the no boundaries i've shown them to you before and i gave those to my mom and she kept telling me how much she loved them so i reordered them in the ivory which are my favorite and the black and I just wore the black ones when we, I think I wore them on the way home from Florida. And I really like these though. And they're the small. And it says that they're unisex, but they don't feel like men's. You know what I mean? Like there isn't a bunch of room right here. They don't give baggy butt. They're cute. And then, I, like I said, I'm going to put on sneakers. And then this tank is a new one that I just got. It's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's an off-white. It's kind of an ivory cream color and I got it from Kaz. And it's actually uh, the first time I'm wearing it. So that's not really a favorite, but it, it might be eventually. And I think that's it. So accessories, I've got on my Sheila Fajal Ornella ring. Um, brought back out my hoops. These are cool hoops, very, summer sexy hoops. This hair made me think about it. But what's cool about these is they don't catch your hair because they're like this. See how they go on like that? So they give the look of having a bead or something in your ear. And they're also, what I love is easy to put on. I need to put some earrings in my back piercing. And I love my like ideal diamonds, but I can't sleep with those posts in my ear. So that's why I get lazy. And then my Ideal Diamonds necklace, and that is it. So thank you guys so much for being here. I hope that you'll try some of these things. I wouldn't show them to you if I didn't feel 99.9% .9 sure that you will love them too. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.